Hello and welcome to What's Up with Dota 2. Today's first news story is that Sindrin is back into competitive Dota. He has announced his new team consisting of Era, Slicks, Sindrin, Fogged, and Seal Kid, and their team will be called Stake Gaming. So the last time Sindrin was in the professional Dota 2 team was back in 2013 with Mouse Sports, and then he quit and just commentated, but He's back apparently and you know I always loved Sindarin back in the day. Hopefully he gets you know back into the groove and improves his Dota because a lot has changed but I'm pretty sure he's been playing pub and ranked but it's not the same when playing in a competitive team. Hopefully good luck to him. I love him as a player and you know best of luck. Moving on to the second story. The second story comes from team. The second story comes to us in Russian from Burnus Pro where Illidan will be replaced by Silent and a rough translation of all of this says after relatively successful performance at TI5 roster became stagnant and constant 5 to 6 place becomes stumbling stone for a team after unsatisfying performance at major team took difficult decision to take a risk and change one of the core players Erat is one of the most experienced players in CIS and many times proved that he is one of the best carries I sincerely hope that he will become an integrate part of the team and our results will be far better. It seems that he left in good terms and you know it doesn't seem it's like a backstab or anything. But teams do need to change once in a while because you know sometimes it, it needs to happen no matter what. You don't want the team to be at the same place and not improve. And I guess it was time for Virtus Pro but hopefully no hard feelings and I hope they improve. Virtus Pro has been in Dota 2 for a long time and you know they always change and they go up and down but you know hopefully they do good and good luck to them. Moving on to the final story. So the final story happened yesterday in a sense. It's an update on the whole Loda and Ryan Lewis situation where Ryan Lewis strangled Loda over a joke he made or something like that. But apparently Hellspawn who was there and stopped Ryan Lewis from strangling Loda. He, he was an eyewitness but this is what he says. I was advised to be silent but I can't stand it anymore. Ryan Lewis strangled Loda. And I was the one who with force stopped Richard so he wouldn't deeply injure Loda. Or worse, I don't know what would have happened if I wasn't there. I came down and saw Richard and Kelly having a huge verbal dispute. I took the position between the two and when Kelly walked off, I tried to calm Richard down and advise him to let this go as it wasn't worth it. While talking to Richard, Loda pops up without me really being able to react. Loda didn't touch Lewis, but aggressively approached Richard. There was a fast and aggressive conversation where Loda said, I'm here, yes, it's me. Suddenly, Richard attacked Loda and started to strangle him. Who strangles another when threatened? That's beyond me. It wasn't like Richard tried to push Loda away and accidentally hit his throat. No, Richard grabbed Loda's throat with both hands and pushed him backwards towards the ground while strangling what to me looked very hard. I grabbed Richard and pulled him through the door. I was upset and sad that he had fucked up the situation so badly as I had to try and calm him down. This story was given as a witness to the police on site. Later on Dreamhack staff was able to get both parties to agree to settle this and move on. Loda wanted a guarantee that Richard wouldn't spin this online which they both eventually agreed on. Since then Richard have according to me spin this as much as he can in all directions to try become the victim and to bait people like me to overstep and react. Here is the truth from someone who witnessed this from a one meter distance and had to act with civil courage and wanted to settle this to move on without this being a public circus and popularity contest. So now I guess you can make up your own side, you know, he was there, he saw everything and this is his testimony. You can take your own route and believe who you want to believe. But that's it for today, you know, what do you guys think about this whole situation or the teams coming up and the team changes. But if you like the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, but I'll catch you guys next time.